So, I'm spawning in the bottom right, but that is uninteresting. Uh, Mana Rogue is purple. If you could shout out the positions. Okay, it looks like we got Obin Laden as Terran at the 12 o'clock position. We got CEO at the 1 o'clock position as Terran as well. We got Mr. Monkey as Zerg at the 9 o'clock position. We got Tupacalypse as Terran at the 6 o'clock position. We got Manor Rogue as Protoss at the 7 o'clock position and Manor No at the 3 o'clock position as Zerg. Alright, whoa, a lot of typing going on about those pause wars. Oh my goodness, looks like Engo getting spammed as well. In any case, in the top right, oh sorry, you call the positions, whoa! Whoa, that's what happens when you cast for too long. Hold on. Hold on, I got this. Alright, alright, I'm back. <clears throat> um, so what do we have? What do we have? One of each race. It looks like it is two Terrans and a Zerg versus a Terran Protoss and a Zerg. Indeed, indeed. So that's that's interesting. I don't think I've seen this uh, this race matchup yet. I don't think I've seen it. Uh, we've seen it ones versus uh, actually CEO when uh, it was actually uh, T uh, PZ versus TTZ where uh, both turns off to go M and M. Indeed, I think. Hmm. I don't. I mean, I would much rather. They go like nuke and battle cruiser. I'm just saying. I also find these, it. Uh, I also find it interesting that um, none of these teams are going three Protoss because I thought that was the strongest race combination. Uh, PPP is the strongest race combination. Um, if uh, you're, if you go random, if you get PPP because. If you go random, a lot of the times that you gotta play mental games against your your opponents. I um, mean, when you're automatically selecting Protoss for all three of your teammates, like this uh, race matchup right here, they have a a good counter build against Protoss. As much as uh, how PPP is strong, all matchups are strong on BGS as long you can execute it and have that mental edge. And uh, I personally think the no, go ahead. Well, I'm I'm just looking at this uh, pool positioning by Mr. Monkey on the on the left side, and does that matter his gas? Because I'm not. It will sure. slow down his gas. All right, and it looks like we have a uh, an offensive pylon by Mana Rogue. I'm not 100 percent sure what that accomplishes right there. But uh, all right, I mean, yeah, he's just going for two gateways. I don't think he's going to build a shield battery. <clears throat> but he is actually, or rather, Engo is going to get the depot. So Oma not actually building the standard depot to the right of his uh supp or <laughs> right of his supply depot, the right of his command center. Oh my God, Oma is actually in a little bit of trouble right here. Where are his allies? It looks like uh, Mr. Monkey is coming from the back to try and help defend. Where is Tupacalypse? Tupacalypse is just making a factory. So once again, uh, just gonna be unable to help his allies for a little bit until he gets his vultures out. And this barracks is not being very useful right here, but uh, it looks like he will be okay with the help of Mr. Monkey. Oh, uh, or will he? Manor and Go is committing to killing these lings. CEO says, go with me. CEO coming out with a few marines. Tupacalypse going for the factory tech is going to be a lot slower. So uh, Oma might be in a lot of trouble right here. Yeah, he's not in a good position because he's going to get triple while CEO has got Marines out. He will not be in a good position. He's trying to get at least one Vulture out to, to assist, but it looks like uh, looks like they're in a bad position again. Oh man, losing so many SCVs and it looks like he might just die completely. White Muta. No, no, no. Sorry CEO, you miscalled that one. But uh, you're certainly doing a good job killing all of Oma's stuff. How unfortunate. Targeting the command center even. Actually, I guess that's a decent idea. Oh, targeting SCVs now. No SCVs for you. Oma 
getting taken out super quick. I don't know why these lanes are running to the bottom right. Is he going to try and kill me? Mr. Monkey is so angry that he's just going to try and eliminate me from the game with lings. And what do we see? Where are the vultures? Tupocalypse. Tupocalypse get vultures. Thang. Thang get goons. Thang get goons. Where? He doesn't even have a cybernetic score. And oh, Mr. Monkey trying to sneak through. Oh, he's going to catch a few lings of Engo right here. Going to take him out, and it looks like uh, Mana Rogue is going to attack Mr. Monkey's base, but he does have a nicely placed Sunken, and uh, a second Creep Colony that could become a Sunken. Whoa, Oma actually managed to get a Vulture out. So, uh, I mean, I guess he's just going to play this like a Vulture Micro UMS. Going to UMS it up, and CO is going to be safe behind his Link Tight wall. Oh, but here come the Vultures! Bang! Thang, did you get Dragoons? You didn't! You didn't get Dragoons, man! Why didn't you cannon him, Thang? Why did you not cannon him, Thang? Oh, it looks like Oma actually managed to get two Vultures out, but here's a lot of Lings, he's gotta be careful. He has got to be careful. I love how this barracks is still just chilling there. He should, he should probably uh, float his barracks in his factory now and go use them to scout. And go 1P. I think they do have to do something considering that Oma is dead. Oh! And also, he can float this barracks to the CEO and actually wall him out so he can't get out his vultures and get stuck. Oh, oh, that's very interesting. Oh, very cool. Oh, but it looks like CEO is actually going for Goliaths instead. Hmm. How curious. Oh, it looks like they're going for the Zerg! They're going for Engo! Engo is massing Sunkins. Uh, nope. Never mind. Change the mind. Going, going Protoss. All right, we're going Protoss. Going Protoss, guys. We're gonna go kill, kill Rogue, aka Thang. Gate block. CEO says gate block. Gateway. Make a gateway. Pile on it. Oh, getting it in time. I, I love how like both teams, the chat is completely mirrored. So as like as soon as one team, as soon as uh, his team says go Protoss, CEO says wall yourself off, and then as soon as um, as soon as like Mr. Monkey says only two cannons, CEO says build more cannons. It like it looks like they're on uh, all chat, but I'm pretty sure they're all on AC. So it's uh, it's pretty funny. Shows how mega goes to these guys are. But I think with this wall, you should be fine. Yep, Oma says it's too late. Um, so they're just gonna go kill Zerg or go Terran. They're just gonna argue about it and and not kill anybody. And that barracks is somewhat blocking, or is it? I wonder if he can block right there. I think it's gonna be too late though. Oh, oh, he's going. He's going. Here we go! Vulture, tank, zergling! Is the barracks gonna land in time? No, it's not gonna land, it's just gonna die. Oh man, he can't even land, there's mines underneath. And here we go! Oh no, he's gonna siege it down! Oh, very nice! Sunkins do absolutely nothing uh, against the siege tanks. The barracks and the mines delaying the reinforcements from CEO slightly, but even if he gets there, I don't think he can do anything against these siege tanks with Ling's reinforcing. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Oma is keeping Mana Rogue. Rogue has got a Stargate! What is he building? What is he making from that Stargate? What could he possibly be making from that Stargate? Is he making looks a like scout? looks like he went to Corsair. I hope he's making a scout. Is it? It's not even blinking though. It looks like he went Corsair to Ovi Sniper. Uh... Mr. Monkey's Overlord. Oh, he did indeed. There's the Corsair. How unfortunate that it is not a scout. And it looks like uh, Engo is gonna get taken out here by these siege tanks. No answer to them. Um, and, CEO, and CEO is trying to get a good position, but siege tanks, they're pretty good. I don't know why Mr. Monkey has a few drones over there. Um, wow, why are there... F is he switching into M&M? I don't even understand. He's got two barracks and uh, three factories. 
Doing some kind of weird biomech there. I mean, obviously the firebat will do nicely against the massling, but uh, still kind of funky. Looks like Mr. Monkey has some hydras out. Um, what else is going on in these bases? Still three factories. And he's targeting the expansion hatchery. Alright, looks like we're going to get a sandwich here. Ling's in the front. Terran mech in the back. They will actually clean it up. Is he going to get the hatchery in time? No, he didn't target it. Oh, the hatchery survives. But it looks like CO is actually getting sieged down in the front. Uh, so even though they've managed to save Engo, uh, CO is uh, contained pretty hard right here. Oma is still just microing these four vultures. He's got nothing else to do. He's got no base. He'll probably float that factory to do something. Blue. Comptum. 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 Fine saying come in. <laughs> Alright. Alright. The magical BGH language. That I don't understand. This is actually quite funny that Tupacalypse is sieging blue instead of purple. I don't know why he just didn't push purple right there. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, mind drags! Whoa! That was interesting. Does he have any detection? Does he have scan? Oh no! Oh no, Tupacalypse! You got no detection, man! You got no detection, what about his allies? Alright, Mr. Monkey's got slow overlords. Uh, Oma is dead. So he has no detection! Oh my god, is he, he's building an engineering bay and an academy just now. He's walled himself in, which is nice. But it looks like the contain has been broken. So Tupacalypse's team, uh, not looking in good shape at all right now. I steered two Corsairs. How many kills do they have? Wow, four kills between them. And the Goliaths of CEO are moving out now. It looks like a few vultures are coming in here. The Sunkens are not in the best positions to defend the drones. They're, in fact, not in good positions at all. The Sunkens doing nothing. I think these vultures could actually kill this hatchery. Uh, it's only got 80 health. I think you should target the hatchery. Uh, please target the hatchery. Okay, this factory is now doing something useful. Um, CEO's expanding to his natural. Uh, as it looks like he might be pushing towards Monkey. That DT is... Not gonna go down. And goes like, save me, Thang! Save me! And Tupacalypse is moving out into GG! Wow, so CEO's team going up 2 0. Going up 2 0 here in the finals of the Test Your Might 3v3 BGH tournament. Uh, however, it is a best of seven, so still plenty of chances to make a comeback.